Hi, I'm Moody, feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the <clears throat> waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Aries. This is a full moon reading for the sign of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, Gemini, Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides. What is the full moon in Cancer reading for Gemini? Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, Gemini. If you hear something you can resonate with, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. You can do that right now. Conclusions are within reach. Gemini, full moon eclipse. You know, an eclipse moon is a rare moon. So, oof, adjustments. And have faith in your dreams. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Mm. Conclusions are within reach. Third quarter moon. Adjustments are required. So you are like 75% clear, closer. You've accomplished 75%. I'm just feeling that because it said third quarter moon. You know, conclusions are within reach. The end is very near. You're like three quarters of the way. Yes, don't give up. Don't give up. Continue to have faith in something you're working on. That's what I'm feeling, Gemini. I'm feeling that Spirit is telling you don't give up. Continue to have faith. Stay with it. You are like 75% there. And yes, adjustments are required. You know, under this waxing gibbous moon it's a time for you to review take stock that's what spirit just said take stock of where you are um reevaluate make adjustments everything's under review mm. that's just going to bring you closer to your goals and objectives you have a lot of uh messages telling you about dreaming you know having faith in your dreams um knowing that your angel guys and your spirit guys are communicating to you through your dreams yeah that's when you receive the most clarity also you're being advised to spend time on self-care definitely um so just you taking time to pamper yourself, going to a spa, do it, but you know, low key self-care, okay? Spirit is saying, yes, low key, where you can rest, sleep late, turn the phone off, turn the clock off, turn the kids off. <laughs> yes, it's time for you to invest in you. That's the first requirement, okay, Spirit? Because during your downtime, down in your dreams, you know, when you are in your subconscious energy. Mm, wow. Yeah. You're like 75% there. Three quarters of the way. Mm. And Spirit is telling you to take a breather now. He is... Gemini, yeah, you did something different. Mm -hmm. You did something different. You stepped out on faith. You went in a different direction. Um, yeah, you did something that was freeing, that was liberating, and that wasn't expected. It was totally different. You, like, broke the re free of the mold, the norm, and you started to color outside the lines and you're like 75 percent done the conclusion is like within reach like you're in the stretch line it's like you know the only thing that i see that is an issue here is external people um, maybe there are still karmic 
situations and people that you have to let go of family, friends, work. Some of you got to quit a job. Some of you have to not be obligated to a situation you're very much obligated to. Mm hmm. That's the minor. It, the, these are minor adjustments, though. You know, minor revisions because you are in the home stretch now. It's like there's just certain people, and maybe there's one still that is present, has a front row seat in your life, and you have to like shut that down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And also, you know, uh, you're being told somebody could be paying attention to what others are saying. And Spirit said, none of that matters. Every, only thing that matters, this is all about you. This is the only card here that deals with external, outside of you. And um, this is the only one that's got to go. Um, adjustment. This is the only adjustment. The only adjustment has to do with people and places outside of you as one more thing you got to do you're like in the home stretch mm -hmm. and clarity's coming you know um you've been working on this for a while you've been taking action leading you towards this and this is all about you being authentic to you stepping out and doing something new you opened up with the full card um, Aquarius energy feeling liberated, right? Mm hmm. Breaking free. Tell me more. Okay, spirit. He said, I'm gonna use these. Tell me more. Gemini, full moon, full moon in Cancer. Okay. Okay, yeah, this concerns love, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups knows that nobody is more loving than her. Let me say that first. She is the most emotional, empathetic, caring, nurturing. She's a mother. She's a mother who loves her kids. Um, you know, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She's vulnerable 24-7. The light's always open. Mm. You could talk your way into her heart. Yes. Also, if you hurt the Queen of Cups, oh, you're going to pay. <laughs> so definitely, Gemini, where love is concerned, you did something different. You took a different route. You decided, I'm going to break free of the norm. I'm going to allow spirit to drive the bus. That's what I hear. Some of you just turn the wheel over when it comes to love. And you focused on yourself, right? There you go. Preparing yourself, you know, um, adding to yourself, building yourself up, taking time out to be with self. And every time you were by yourself, spirit came to hang out with you, you know, wanting time to be with you as you recharged, as you were retreating. Yeah. How do I know? Because the moon shows up, self, uh, major arcana, you know, it's all about your mother. And didn't I say the Queen of Cups is mother? Some of you are caring for your mother. Spirit says you're almost there. Very good. Uh -huh. But others of you, this is your 75% to an ending. You know, the full moon is about releasing a cycle. It's about ending something so you can move on. You've been thinking about it. When you're conscious, you can't stop thinking about it. It's only when you're in your dream state, your subconscious state, that you get some clarity on this. Okay, spirit. So what is being said? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. And the clarity is other people other 
situations, everything external from you. There's something karmic in nature that you have to make an adjustment without because it's time to let them go. You hate doing this with the Three of Swords reverse. It's killing you. It's breaking your heart to let them go. Um, but you're quite clear that they're not going forward with you with the wheel. They can't go forward. They're not part of your destiny. They're not part of your future. Um, that is the only card. Yeah, the Hierophant. Two cards of your belief system changing. Um, you know, what you were taught as a child, what you could have learned in the past. You know, that's the beauty of us. We change. Um, we grow, we become more authentic, more aware. We two cards of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is um, really not about a person, it's about your morals, your ethics, your values, things you were taught as a kid, right? Things you grew up with, conditioning, right? And you have three cards of that right here. And, and that just shows that life is about change. And Gemini, when it comes to love, definitely, it started with you. Um, you didn't realize something about yourself. And, and you, you've come into that knowledge with the Ace of Air, this clarity, mental clarity. Um, you just, you're so much more authentic. You are, you've grown, you've matured, you look good too, you know, but there's still something residual there, um, that under this full moon energy, it has to go. It's the only thing that's not a part of where you're headed, um, your new belief system, uh, your destiny, your fate, there's something, leave me a comment, you know you, there is still something, Gemini, mm-hmm, tell me, yeah, you, it's something that you got to walk away from, it's this external situation, this is the truth, I said it before, mm-hmm, for some of you, uh, an emotional message, They're going to apologize. Somebody's going to apologize. Maybe you just need to apologize to yourself and realize that things happened as a result of choices that you made. Maybe that past situation was just part of your karma. Tell me more. Gemini. Yeah. The past. Looking for nostalgia. <laughs> Yeah, looking for photos. Somebody's looking through photos. Their phone, they see some pictures. Uh, you could have already walked away and they're coming back with an apology. Talking all this, we could rekindle, work it out. I don't know. <laughs> they want to make things right here with the Libra card of balance. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have Aquarius, strong. Gemini, you know, a lot of air energy. The the ace of air is in the middle. All cards of two, two aces, the hierophant, three of them. So, but somebody's missing you. They're missing you. They're looking at photos. There's nostalgia. And there is this apology here with the scales wanting to make it right. Hmm. Yeah, because they see you coming to the end. They see you headed towards your dreams, what you want. They see you a bright future. <laughs> With, yes, and you're making it happen. Like Because all of this light, all this Ace of Air, the Ace of Swords, um, Under the Moon... Yes, truth, the Hierophant, being enlightened, new perspectives. Or everybody sees this change. They know that you're headed somewhere. They don't know where you're going or how close you are to the end. But Spirit is telling you, you're 75% there. So, of course, somebody's throwing a monkey wrench. It's somebody who broke your heart. And you're over it, too. I do see that. 
Yeah, they know you were loved. They know you were loved. This is something else I'm saying. They know you were loved in the past. They're coming with an apology because it's nostalgia. Maybe it's the time of year. Something's hitting them now and they're thinking of you, Gemini. You know, it can be reversed. You could be thinking of somebody else. Realizing that they were the king or queen of cups. That you were happy with them. Yes, you enjoyed them. Somebody enjoyed you. They're thinking of you now. They're coming back with an apology. Why? Because you're on a new journey and conclusions are close. They're trying to divert your attention, get your attention, stop you from being so focused. Because you're focused on where you're going. You're, you've been making adjustments. You're making moves, Gemini. <laughs> course they're coming in to distract you this is somebody you loved you can see it bright as day you can see them they come in they're like a freaking neon light and the call <laughs> the communication comes through what Shit. Mm. you know this is somebody who's been there with you they know what to say Oof. When they make this communication, I don't care how it comes in. They got the words, so it's right. It, like, hits it the spot. What? Your knees buckle. Somebody's knees buckled. Yeah, they're staring at your picture. I told you the photograph set this off. They saw you, and it rekindled these feelings. They started to reminisce the past, the memories, and they had to reach out and touch Gemini. Mm. All right. That's why spirit is bringing it up. Because, you know, you're on a new journey. <laughs> you're not only on a new journey. You're like 75% there. Whoa. And bam. And this is the end of the year. What? <laughs> Stop. Spirit, I know. What are you saying? Hmm. Can you, no. What are you saying, Spirit? Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What are you saying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're feeling like you want to compromise. You know who this is already. You do. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Let go. <sighs> that is full moon energy to let go, to just purge. But you, somebody wants to compromise. And I think this energy takes over. Wow. Maybe you were 75% to compromising about coming back into union. And both of you had to purge a little. You have to give up a little. I don't know. What is this? Tell me more. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Whoever was burned the last time is fearful. But, you know, the wheel is here. And... Mm, to mind timing. Because you have the card of union. Yeah, so maybe, you know, you were on a new journey where love was concerned. And um, it started with you doing some work. And while you two were apart, no doubt that they did work too. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but both of you had to have done work for Spirit to say it's close, you know, um... The conclusion is within reach, and it's a happy conclusion. It's a happy conclusion. And during the time of you two being apart, you were going on your journey. They were going on their journey. But um, now it's time. It seems like it's divine time, and it's time for you two to your paths to cross again. Because you do come into union here. All because you're willing to compromise let the past stay in the past. Purge the past. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was a heartbreak, but there is forgiveness. I, this is what he's been saying. I don't know. There was a heartbreak, you know, and there is also forgiveness. Compromise means something happened 
um, in the past that you've got to compromise. That's what I feel. Um, because there's somebody who wants to make it right, this is definitely, yeah, something happens in the past. They come back. They got the right words. Maybe it's you, Gemini, because you are the great communicator. You say it, it's a slam dunk. There's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Just be sincere. Be sincere. Whoever has to come back with that apology, asking for forgiveness, that means you'll never do it again. Be sincere. Right. Because the other has to trust. Yeah. They're going to have to trust what you say. Um, when you come back to make things right, whoever's coming back to make things right, this situation requires trust. I think from both of you. But you're being told great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. Clearly, you're being guided. Divine timing is here for you two to come into union after learning some lessons. Um, I see that this is true love. He told me to show you that. This is real love. And that's why forgiveness um, worked here. And he's telling you to have faith that you two will be able to compromise in the future. Mm -hmm. All right, Gemini. That's what I got for you. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. I'm praying, you know, for you two to have a better chance the second time around. I think the second time around, it's it works. It works. I'm praying for it to work. If you are too, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and let's pray for it to work. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Gemini. Until the next moon phase, namaste.